everybody. <coughs> we have a very good lesson to learn to, today. It's about the work stress. And uh, very nice to see uh, Kevin right here this morning. And uh, Peter is right down there. <coughs> because today our subject has two different kind of uh, opinions on the word stretch, or the thing called stretch. Here is the medical opinion. May cause seven ill effects on body health. This is according to medical opinion. Stretch can cause seven ill effects. Uh, add to your sickness and make your life shorten. Number one is body muscle and joint. Like every joint, uh, I have uh, no idea about this. Maybe uh, if you want to learn no more, the report says stretch. <coughs> will cause your body muscle and joint if they already have a little bit problem stress will make it seem more serious and that will shorten your life number two is your heart and lung problem if your heart is not very healthy your lung is not very healthy stress can shorten your life because it will add to the seriousness of this heart and lung problem. And this one is I one I never thought about this one. I thought hair can just pull it, shave it any way you want to. Does not matter. But it says hair problem, skin problem will be uh, affected and make your hair and skin sickness. Uh, washing. This one is intestines and stomach. Now this one is uh, Peter's expertise. Right? It said if your intestine is not healthy enough and stomach has some problem, stress will make it worse and thus shorten your life, body life. And this one is shoulder and all parts of your head. Okay, Moses, you want to watch out, okay? All parts of your head. <laughs> and a shoulder problem. <laughs> this stretch will make it worse and shorten your body life. This one I understand. Immune system will lower the power of your immune system and that create lots of uh, discomfort or sickness in your body uh, easy to catch whatever and shorten your life number seven psychological illness if you have a little bit psychological illness stress will make it worse uh, this is seven ear effects on your body health according to medical opinion. It is reported in World Journal News Report, March 13, 2021. Uh, I saw the report. So I thought about a different obedient on Bible study people like preachers or Bible teachers. Stress is a psychological energy. It's an energy. <coughs> it can be positive energy or negative energy. It's how you handle it. This is preacher's opinion. Stress actually is a psychological 
energy. This energy can pressure the body into action to do things. This is why stress is also called pressure. You are being pushed to do something so you can accomplish whatever. It's also a pressure. Pressure. So at the end of my sermon, I kind of get used to say, Moses, are we going to eat this here? <laughs> okay. I think it rests a little bit pressure on him. Okay. And make everybody want to stay and then think about buying food, things like that. Stress can also be a pressure that you <coughs> push your body into action to do things. Yeah. These young people are very blessed to be here. Such as pressure cooker. I wonder, uh, Moses, you have one at home? Pressure cooker. You don't want to eat that? Oh. <coughs> pressure cooker can, like the two brothers in Boston, they can make it into a bomb to kill people and hurt people. <clears throat> like a few years ago happened in Boston. Good people use it to save time and energy in cooking cow tender. Like old cow meat is so tough. You have to use a pressure cooker to make it tender sooner and save energy. So it's a same kind of energy, same kind of stuff like pressure cooker. Evil people can make it into a bomb to shorten people's life. But good people can make it, utilize it to prolong body life. For success in life, we sometimes or often create stress for ourselves. For success in life, we create stress. So to push our body forward to perform, to work. Such as last Sunday, we begin with daylight saving time. When it happened, when things like that happen, our body, our pressure that pulls forward to wake up one hour earlier. <clears throat> okay, this is facts of life. This bring forward one hour, that means shorten our sleep one hour. To pressure, to pulls our body to wake up one hour earlier. And last Sunday it happened. And I did not see anybody miss morning worship and I did not see anyone being late even though our clock had been pushed spring for one hour but we still stay with the schedule that's pressure for us to do things at the same time this is to force our bodies to wake up one hour early to perform to do works. Because governing, governing official thought this way we can improve national GDP. GDP is gross domestic product. Gross domestic product. Output. Otherwise, why do you think U.S. with a fraction of population to that of China. To be almost exact, China has 1,000 more million people. 1,000 million more population than America. America is only about 330 million. But China has 140 million, uh, 1,300 or uh, 400 million. It's a fraction of population. 
but America's GDP is four times of China a few years ago in report. How does this happen? How does it possible? A fraction of population, number of population. Okay? China has one thousand okay, million more people. But America GDP is four times that of China. How does it possible? Because America has the most stressful workers on this earth. Many around the world think America is heaven on earth. But America, many people overcame, overcome by stress. They committed suicide every year. The most people committed suicide is America and Japan. Now Japan may be doing better in this thing called commit suicide. Because you can imagine how much stress that American worker has to bear. It's so stressful. When I was, I had a few years in, in Texas. I have learned Texans, Texas people work very, very hard. And that's why they, they developed this slogan. Do not work too hard. Don't work too hard. And I got to practice it in a few years. A little bit more than three years, okay? More than three years. And I got used to say, don't work too hard, don't work too hard. When I came to New York City, at first I said the same thing. Then later, I found out I was wrong. New York City people do not work that hard. So if you tell them to work too hard, that means they have to be lazy. <clears throat> I just want you to know, workers in America bear lots of stress because they count on how much you have done, how much you have accomplished. It's quality. Uh, it's quantity, not quality. It's a quality, okay? Quantity, how much you do, how much you produce. <clears throat> I think the most stressful one is all the worker in America is your boss, the one who wrote the paycheck, always want you to produce more so he can make more money out of your work. Always more, 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 more. All the worker in America, maybe besides teachers in school. <laughs> no offense, was it? In school, you have to work that hard. What? Okay. America, worker, have to work hard, and they're very stressful. Such as regulations are set to force people to move on to a better life. At least. That is in theory. Uh, in theory, that may be correct. Is regulation is to push to force people move on to a better life. Like in fashion, I've been in fashion from 1975, 1974, September 30, I arrived with my family in Flushing. For I can count 46 years now. I have seen stop sign, stop sign, stop sign, keep acting up. Uh, most of do not drive in Flushing very, very, very much anymore. But Peter is he trying first thing. Yeah, maybe he not very often. Keep stop sign everywhere. Uh, down there from here to Bound Park or even where uh, Robin left. Recently around this corner at a lot of uh, stop sign. Each time someone get killed at a cross section. 
in a car accident, a stop sign lights up. And one, t- one time I uh, asked someone on a straight road, straightforward road, and there's no cross section, only some house driveway, some house driveway, okay? No other road, no point cross section, straight road. A few house driveway, that's all. Stop sign, stop sign. Almost every every driveway out of a house have a stop sign. So I wonder, I ask the neighbor, why? Because at one time someone has a car accident and someone got killed. That's why they have a stop sign here because just happened someone driving by on this road and a car came out from the driveway and had an accident and someone got killed that's why they have a stop sign <coughs> okay as i say in america is regulation 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 okay it's supposed to make life better and healthier and safer. Each stop sign created stress for drivers to drive more carefully. This way, few people get hurt, reduce car accident. Two, but every stop sign creates stress on the driver. It's also two, stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. Such as set time for worship service. All worshippers are forced to meet in the same place at the same time, at a certain time. This is pressure that we created for ourselves in order to do something, to worship God together at the same time, in the same place. Understand? That's why we have to create <coughs> stretch for everybody to be together, to worship God together in the same place, at the same time. Being simple means forcing people to live with many more rules. They may call it law. They may call it whatever but it's to force people to follow. <clears throat> you will always say, like a, when a police try to give you a ticket, they will say, I'm just force, forcing the law. I'm just following the law. Okay? Because the law said, at a stop sign, you have to stop. You did not stop. You just roll over, go slowly, but you did not stop. It's according to law. This is what the law says. That's why I have to give you a ticket. You see, forcing people to obey rules, rules, regulation, regulation. At one time, my house basement, some STUPID guy (coughs) report to beauty department said we had converted our basement to be rental apartment. Rental apartment in my basement. But we never did. Never rent anybody. But some guy did that. Okay, and the inspector <coughs> give us a certain time to restore everything. Okay? I said, why is this? He said, as you can see, I said, I have been here 40 years, 40 some years, in this house. And he said, 40 years ago, the regulation is this thick, and now it's this thick. 
Regulation keep increasing, increasing, increasing. Regulation, regulation, regulation. Endless regulation. And that's what you call civil. C I V I L. Means lots and lots of regulation. Civilization means forcing people with a lot of regulation. That's what that means. Now, stress makes longer body life. Number A, I said, uh, according to medical opinion, stress makes shorten body life. But as I can see, stress makes longer body life. Prolonged stress shorten body life too. If stress do not get solved or released, prolonged stress short, will shorten your life because it will cause all your seven items of uh, adding ser more serious to your sickness and that shorten your body life. Item A is about this one. That's medical opinion. Set your own time to become a member of the Church of Christ. It's a stretch. Is energy to make you to do this following thing. This can energize, energize you to listen carefully to Bible teaching. Since you have set a time, certain time, I will become a member of the Church of Christ. Then it will energize you, force you to listen to learning. Bible teaching more carefully. This can also energize you to participate more in church activity. Okay? Because this is also a stretch, a energy. This can energize you to establish a Bible reading habit in your daily life. All these things are good to prolong your body, body life. Make you live longer. Make your body live longer. <laughs> you can see I have all this year, 60 some years working in the church, lots of stress. But today I'm still healthy and by the grace of God I found to tackle stress this way. This can help you increase your faith in the Lord. You build up your faith, getting stronger, knowing that this is the truth that you practice. Church of Christ is built so body life can live longer. That's why I often say to people, good men must live longer. I always pat somebody on the shoulder. Please live well and live longer. We good men have to live longer. At least longer than the evil people. Because the world needs us more than need them. <coughs> and this is this serves as a psychological energy to make our body live better and live well and live longer. That's why we have the Church of Christ. God gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors, some teachers. For what? To make Church of Christ people live longer and healthier. For the perfecting of the saints, unto the work of ministering, unto the building up of the body of Christ, till we all attain unto the unity of the faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a full-grown man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. We make us, force us to grow and grow and grow. Endless growing. 
there's no stop. And that prolongs our body life. That we may be no longer children tossed to and fro and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by the sleeves of men, craftiness, after the will of error. We will not be deceived or driven away from our faith in the Lord. My brethren, come in all joy when you fall into diverse temptation, that means tribulation, lots of problems. When you have faced lots of problems, count it all joy. The scripture said, count it all joy. Why? Because this is, a chance, is your chance to, be, uh, to improve, to be tested. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith work patient. As that's how we establish our patience. Like myself, all this year. Be patient, be patient. But let patience have a perfect work that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Here is a key. Patience have a perfect work. What does that mean? Uh, we have a very present example. Today is March 21. Starting from last year, March, we had this COVID-19 pandemic. This problem has been among us for at least a whole year now. It's a long time suffering. It tests our faith. It tests our patience. It tests our determination to be faithful in the Lord. It's a good way in the process of growing, rooted in the faith of our Lord. We have been testing for a year to worship God the way prescribed in the Bible. And this will add long year to our body life. <clears throat> this is love for God to obey His commands. That's 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. Because we are determined <clears throat> to worship God according to what says in the Bible. And, this, and his commands are not burdensome. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. We know that right now. Over a million of people. And America has five, over 530,000 deaths in America since last month. Last of life has been lost all over the year. And right now, Paris is under one more month luck out, starting from yesterday or tomorrow. Luck out again. Because they're the first wave, second wave, and now it's the third wave of COVID-19 pandemic. Over Europe in very bad shape. Over a year and still prolonged going. Lots of people life shortened a great deal. But by the grace of God, we are still here. And we are determined to follow regulation. And it will help us to energize us and stress will serve, energize our faith in the Lord, determined to stay alive, healthier, to glorify God. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. We have faith in the Lord. We worship according to what the Bible says. 
we obey His command and we obey the regulation force upon us like wearing this like keeping six feet now in school is three feet now right that's when in school three feet so you want to be very careful yeah maybe you can <laughs> when you talk to people do this uh, and we hope that we will prolong and protect it and because we have faith faith can overcome okay faith in the Lord help you to calm down build up your immune system sometimes I suspect my blood is very poisonous COVID-19 got into my blood he died COVID-19, my blood can have enough poison to kill COVID-19. Okay? Because I have told you quite a few times now. Many years ago, I went to donate blood. And later, they sent me a card. Please do not donate your blood. Too much in milk in your blood. Nobody can use your blood because my blood is too poisonous for other people. <clears throat> but uh, as, as I said, we obey rules. And rules are designed to force us to live longer, not shorten our life. So don't take it wrong. <clears throat> who is it that overcome the world? Only he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. That's us. All of us, those are in the church of Christ. Those are only people in the world, in the whole world, that they believe Jesus is the Son of God because we obey His command. As I say recently, I discovered that John 10, 27 and 28, Jesus said, My sheep listen to my words. I know them, they follow me. Listen to my words. What's that? Uh, as I said, I already told you, the English translation, listen to my voice, is an incorrect translation. The correct translation, my voice. And what the voice means? means precepts. What precepts mean? Rules to regulate human behavior. So Jesus is saying, my sheep, listen to my word, obey my regulation, the regulation, the rules that I have taught them to regulate their human behavior. When we do that, we live healthier, we live longer. And by the grace of God, today I'm still standing here. And I think I still look quite healthy, right, Peter? I can still speak loud and clear. Conclusion now. As a word of God, stretch is also a tool as the soul. You can utilize to shorten life. You can utilize to prolong life. Make your life live longer. I mean your body life, live longer. Stress can shorten body life in seven ways as reported. Okay, in the first section that I had already shared with you. Seven ways to shorten body life. Stress can help your body live longer. Yeah, I got it here. John chapter 10, 27-28 It depends on whether you accept Jesus' teaching to regulate your behavior or not. If you choose to obey, accept this set of rules, regulate your life, you live according to this regulation Jesus taught you, taught us, in John chapter 10, 27 to 28, 
is these rules regulate your life, body life. Regulate your body life. Are you willing to accept this set Jesus taught us to live uh, we regulate your life, regulate by this set of teaching. If you do that, stress can prolong your body life. That means you live physically longer. God promised stress is for good for those who love God. Okay? As I said, God makes all things work together for good for those who have been chosen in the purpose of God. God has chosen us with a purpose to live longer and stress is to make it better. We can utilize stress that falls upon us to have more faith, more determination to live our life regulated by the word of God and that make us live longer and as I say I'm very blessed I have made it to 81 now okay when I was a child I was thinking about 50 is very long life I may double or triple that, don't worry about me. I think Moses will be very happy if I triple of that 50. Hey Cindy, you know what 50 triple or 50 mean? Hansi 50, right? Okay, stress is God's way to help us live better and live longer and healthier. Understand Titus, making our energy to glorify God, glorify God, live a healthy life, a longer life, a better life through growing of God. May the Lord bless each one of you. Uh, Peter, come to say the closing prayer.